Elementor provides a template library which can be great to start building your website, especially if you are a beginner and don't have much idea how to use Elementor and WordPress. So in this video, I am going to show you how to use the template library for building your pages and how beneficial it is for beginners. You can access to the template library by clicking on the Pages tab from your WordPress admin panel, selecting one of your pages, and clicking to the Edit with Elementor button if you have already Elementor installed. And if you haven't do it yet, then check out my video for the installation. And after you start the Elementor page builder, you will see something similar to this. On the left side, there are the widgets that you can use to build your pages by simply using the drag and drop feature and you can start editing your widgets but in most cases for beginners this can be overwhelmed and complicated so that's why it, it can be beneficial for you to start using the template library that Elementor provides and for accessing to the library you need to click on this folder button and so you can see all the pages and the building blocks. If you select one of these templates, it will zoom to the template so you can see all of the details. And if you want to insert it to your own page, you click on this button, then it will ask you to connect your account to the template library. Now you can do it from the get started button, but if this doesn't work, then you can also do this from the Elementor official website. You can find the link in the description below. And if you don't have an account yet for Elementor, click on the get started button and you can sign up from this form. And once you finish signing up, click on the get started button, which will complete the connection process. And now as you can see, we have inserted the template to our own page. When we go back to the template library, you see that there are actually much more pages that you can use, but most of these pages have a little pro icon here, which means that you cannot use them for free. You need to become a pro member, if you prefer, becoming a pro member of Elementor has actually a lot of benefits. I've put down the link below in the description part of this video. And if you decide to become a pro member and do that by using my link, then I will earn a small commission from Elementor. You don't have to pay me anything, but it will be a great support for my channel. All right, so let me continue explaining the template library features. There are actually a lot of templates that you can use whatever a web page you want to build. For example, if you want to have a web page for a fitness center, you can type here fitness and it will bring you, for example, two different examples. If you click on this like icon, it will save this template under your my favorites tab. And here, basically, you can find the newest and the oldest templates trending and also the popular ones. But actually, most of the time, we don't want to take a full page and edit it. Instead of doing that, the template library provides building blocks. And if you click on this one, you can find here many different blocks and you can use them for your page. If you have no idea which one to pick, you can click on this drop down menu and choose a category. For example, if you choose contact, you will find here many different contact blocks, both free and the pro versions. And let's choose, for example, this one. And let's insert it to our web page. And now you will only have this block inserted to your page. And if you prefer to use this block, you can start editing however you like. But if you are a complete beginner, I will make another full tutorial for the editing section. So if you are interested in learning more about Elementor, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button for the algorithm. Thank you guys for watching.